good show today. Thank you for tuning in to One on One with Frank Pinson. Hey, we have a great show for you. Today we have the one, the only, the beautiful, the queen. May we all bow to Mrs. Jacinia Ortiz. Let's give her a round of applause. I'm Jacinia Ortiz, and you're watching One on One with Frank Pinson. Hi, thanks for tuning in to the show today. We have the one and only Miss Jacinia Ortiz. Hey, thanks Hi. for coming to the show thanks today. Thanks for having me. Hey, you should be proud. You're the actual first queen to ever be on the show today. You should, you should be happy for that. <laughs> um, describe to us what type of queen it is that you are. Um, I'm the Dawn High School homecoming queen. Oh, man, that's great. How did you, like, what did you have to do to become the queen? What did you have to do for that? Well, um, every girl at Dawn High School gets a chance to put their name in the ballot to be on the homecoming court. Mm -hmm. And so people just vote for whoever they like and um, at the very end they choose a queen and so. Did you have to do anything extra? Like did you make an iPad video or did you do anything? What was the steps to getting the votes? Like how did you get um, your, your classmates to vote for you? Well, honestly, I was just being. Uh, being yourself. Yeah, I, was, <laughs> I, I wasn't like, hey, like uh -huh. I wasn't pressuring them to like, yeah. vote for me or. Anything mm -hmm. like that. Just... That's a great thing. Everyone needs to be their self now. That. That's, uh, and that's why you want to be you are the queen now. Um, so other than being the queen, what are some other things that you're involved with uh, at the school or in the community? Um, well, I'm, I'm in mock trial and student council, and um, I also play volleyball. What's mock trial? What's... Um, that's uh, where there's a group of kids, and they... Uh, pretend they're in a trial. Mm -hmm. And so there's lawyers and there's witnesses yeah. and there's a judge and you actually go and compete for that. Oh, so. that's great. So now getting into that mock trials, um, what's something that you would want to do after school? Is that something that you're interested in? Yes, actually, I, oh, yeah. I do plan to go into like law school and, and everything. Oh, man. Keep her in mind now. So <laughs> <laughs> do not get in trouble, but just in case you do, you know who to call right here. <laughs> Um, so, um, talking about graduating, um, have you applied to any schools, or where do you plan on going after high school? Um, well, I have applied to uh, uh, different colleges, mm -hmm. but I, I still don't know which one I'm going to go to. You have options. She has options, you all. That's the good thing about it. Um, so, being involved in all those different activities and playing volleyball, mock trial, um, and I know you're on top of your grades. Is it pretty hard to do that? How do you find time to, um, to stay on top of your grades? Um, well, sometimes it is pretty difficult to juggle uh, sports and uh, clubs with your... Uh, um, with the class, with everything going on? And yeah, you're like, oh, yeah. Struggle with that. So, you just yeah. have to... Crunch, how fun crunch time while you're at home, maybe to read that chapter. Or yeah. Or it's, it's pretty hard to I, do. Yeah. I don't, um, I don't really go out, like, with friends mm -hmm. as much because yeah. I have to stay home and that's I have to good. study. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's all yeah. about managing that time, you know, and that's how she graduating and being on, on top of things is that she takes the time to do that. Um, is there anyone, anything you have up, up and coming, anything new that we should be able to look out for you? Um, well, student council, we do many, many projects throughout the year. Um, right now, we don't know exactly what we're going to do, but mm -hmm. there's going to be something big for the community. By the end of the year, um, 2016? Yes. At the end of 2016, okay. Probably. Let's be on the lookout for that. And um, at the end of the show, she'll tell you how to stay in touch with her. So don't go anywhere. After this quick break, we'll come back and we'll play a game. Hi, guys, and welcome back. So for today's game, we're going to play Consequences and Repercussions. Anytime you guys do something, there's always repercussions for that action. So today, we are going to play the classic game of Rock, Paper, Scissors. But the spin to this thing is whoever loses twice has to take this Patti LaBelle pow, to the face. <laughs> Oh, okay. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. So what we'll do is we'll go rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh my god, I can't believe <laughs> Okay. Are you ready for this? Yes. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. Alright, so like, that's one to zero. She's up. Okay, the first one to lose two times gets this pie to the face. Okay. Second time. You ready? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay, 
This is it for all of the marbles, right? Are you ready? Oh my gosh. Okay, so what we'll do is if we um, throw the same thing, we'll just do it all again, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. Okay, here we go. Let's start. Hi. <laughs> I am the winner. You're tuning in to one on one with Frank Benson. Before I put this wonderful pie in the beautiful homecoming queen space, is there any way that the people can follow you? Um, how do they follow you to keep up with you on, and everything that you do? Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Justinia Ortiz3, or Twitter, J -E at JES Ortiz98. 98. Thank you, it was just so great to have you on the show Thanks today. So, here we go. Oh, I don't want to do this. Here we go. Oh. Tell the people. Thank you for tuning in to 101 with Frank Benson. Until next time, we're out of here. And always remember, don't just be great. Inspire, teach, and motivate others to do the same. Until next time, we're out of here.